Welcome to God's Playbook with your host, Father Rico Passero. Lock is a 20, 10, 5, touchdown! Touchdown! Let's play ball. I am who I am. Today, friends, we're going to focus on God giving us his name. Moses said to God, If I come to the people of Israel and say to them, The God of your fathers has sent me to you, and they ask me, What is his name? What shall I say to them? God said to Moses, I am who I am. And he said, Say this to the people of Israel, I am has sent me to you. This is my name forever, and thus I am to be remembered throughout all generations. For the Jewish people, friends, I was so proud to learn this in the seminary when I was studying to be a priest. God's name was so holy that it was to be unspoken. And so the name Yahweh, which is the Jewish people's way of calling God our Father, is a name that is so holy and sacred that it is not to be spoken. So in revealing his name, God tells us who he is and by what name he is to be called. His divine name is mysterious just as God is mystery. I am who I am. It is at once a name revealed and something like the refusal of a name. And hence, so it expresses God as what he is, above everything that we can understand or say. He is the hidden God. He is the God who makes himself close to humanity. By revealing his name for us, God reveals his faithfulness, which is everlasting to everlasting. Valid for the past, as God refers to himself as the God of your fathers, the God of Abraham, Isaac, and Jacob. But he's also, for the future, I will be with you. God reveals his name as I am, teaching us that he always was, will always be present, and will always be present in the future for his people to save them. Once we recognize God's name, we also recognize our own insignificance. Moses takes off his sandals at the burning bush and veils his face because God's holiness is too much to overcome. And yet, God wishes to be present to his son. In the experience with Jesus, St. Peter exclaims, Depart from me, Lord, for I am a sinful man. But because God is holy, he forgives the man and realizes that he is a sinner. So it's this recognition of God who is so much greater than you and I, my friends. The Apostle John says, We shall reassure our hearts before him whenever our hearts condemn us, for God is greater than our hearts, and he knows everything. So this idea of I am is also what Jesus calls himself, which leads the religious authorities at his time to understand that Jesus is calling himself God. And as such, in their minds, Jesus is blaspheming. And yet you and I know that Jesus is not blaspheming at all. Rather, he is revealing Emmanuel, God who is with us. And so, as we respect the holiness of God, the people of Israel and each one of us are called to always revere the name of God. For our brothers and sisters in sacred scripture, the name Yahweh is replaced by the divine title Lord with a capital L or Adonai in Greek. It is under this title that the divine nature of Jesus will be acclaimed. Jesus is Lord. And so, friends, as we reflect upon the name of God, who identifies himself as I am who I am, this further shows us our need to study 
the Old Testament scriptures in a more deeper way to come to know of a God who loves us, who calls us by name, and invites us to revere his holy name, but who identifies himself as a God of the people. Lord, we thank you for your presence. Lord, we thank you for the name. For you are holy, and with your name brings power. May we always revere your holy name and never forget your presence in our lives. Amen. For God's Playbook, friends, I'm Father Rico. God loves you and so do I. If you like what you hear, please consider supporting us using any of our affiliate links in the description below via Budsprout, Ko-Fi, or GoFundMe. Thanks, and God bless.